Welcome to the Nomad tutorial series. I'm Markus Scheidgen and in this video I give you a brief overview about Nomad and the tutorials that we have prepared. Nomad is an open data sharing platform for material science data based on FAIR principles. Therefore, our goal is to make your material science data findable, accessible, interoperable and reusable. What makes Nomad unique in contrast to other platforms that just use user-provided metadata to organize their data is that Nomad processes all data and extracts rich material science specific metadata. First, all data that's provided to Nomad is stored in its original form. We call this the Nomad repository. At the moment, the Nomad repository contains the input and output files of almost 11 million code runs that were performed by many popular computational material science codes. We pass our raw repository data and organize it in a common uniform representation that we call the Nomad archive. Each archive entry contains all extracted information in a hierarchy of well-defined quantities. Examples for these quantities are the elements in the system, the lattice, site coordinates, symmetry classifications, total energy calculations, or more complex data like density of states or band structures. The formal archive schema that we call the Nomad Meter Info contains the definition of hundreds of quantities that our parsers can extract from your data. The archive can be used in many ways. One use case of the archive is Nomad Search Interface, which uses some of the archive quantities as search metadata. The search interface uses interactive representations of metadata about the elements, about the system, about the used method and code, about the computed properties, and the origin of the calculation. Let's say you are interested in titanium oxides and density of states data that was provided by a certain origin or certain author you know. We prepared one tutorial that explains the Nomad search interface in more detail. For each entry that you can find on Nomad, you can download the raw data or you can access it in its archive form. The archive allows you to quickly, quickly examine the data at hand You can download all data in raw and archive form. There are several options to also programmatically access the data via our API. We prepared another tutorial on how to use Nomad's API. Using Nomad is free and all data is made available under the Creative Commons Attribution License. To upload data, you simply zip your data as it is. Nomad will find input and output files of the supported codes and create an entry for each identified code run. You can explore all extracted data before you publish directly or publish with an embargo. You can further annotate your data with comments, references, name all your co-authors. You can also share embargoed data with others. You can create data sets with the DOI. We also prepared a tutorial on how to publish data on Nomad. Besides sharing the data, you can use Nomad search capabilities to manage your own data. You can access all data via API. You can also process all data locally on your computer. You can also run your own Nomad Oasis, for example, to manage the data in your group. We also provide a tutorial on how to process data locally to get the archive of your data. And there's also the tutorial on our API. Further, Nomad uses the archive to provide a materials perspective on all data in the materials encyclopedia. The Nomad Artificial Intelligence Toolkit uses the archive to analyze your data with modern machine learning tools. Also look out for upcoming tutorials on the Nomad Encyclopedia and the Nomad Artificial Intelligence Toolkit. Thank you very much and enjoy the tutorials.